Hey, FETC, it's Nikki, and I'm going to show you how to make a QR code with pictures. So you probably have already taken a look at the other tutorial, um, how to make a QR code with links or text or YouTube videos or to a Dropbox file, but I'm actually going to show you how to link to a whole document or a picture using another website. So there are tons of QR code generators out there. This is just another one that we use. Um, so you'll see the URL up here. It's linkstore.ru backslash QR backslash. This is one of the only ones that I've found that easily lets me um, link up with some text as well as a picture. So it doesn't look very beautiful, but it is easy to use. So um, Later in the packet, you will see the landmark QR code scavenger hunt. And we've been using this a lot with the fifth graders because they are learning about all the different regions of the United States. You can use it with any grade level. I used it um, with first graders identifying the natural resources. You can really use it with many different things. So I'm just going to show you how I created your landmark scavenger hunt. So here I'm just going to type a note and it may be a direction or it may be a question. So I'm going to say look at the land landmark below where it what is the name of the landmark and where is it located. Record the city and state on your bracelet. So I have my text. Now down here, just like if I was going to link to um, add a picture to an email, I'm going to push that paper clip. I actually do have to give it a name. So if I'm doing a worksheet or some type of activity where they're going to be scanning lots of pictures, I may just choose to label it Landmark 1. You're going to browse your computer just like you would do if you were adding a file to um, an email or any other type of upload, Dropbox, anything like that. So you're going to find the folder that it's in. So here I have all the pictures. Let's start with Disney World. So I'm going to double click it, upload it. Now it looks like nothing has happened and you might be discouraged, but all I have to do is pr press this green plus, get page and QR code. So here is my QR code. I'm going to right click it copy and then I can paste it, oops, not in my email, in my document. So here is my second space. So just like before, um, if you've used QR codes, I'm going to right click and paste it or control V. And then I am going to, in order to make it move around like a picture, I'm going to put it in front of text and then I can resize it. And remember, if I'm resizing any image, I don't want to go just by the width or the height because I will distort it. So here is my um, QR code linked to the picture. And that's actually what you'll see down here a little bit further in your handout. But now I wanna show you, so I can just go through and I can just change that upload the next one, change this to landmark two. This is all fine. My direction is going to be the same for the second one. I just need to change the picture. So here we go. Upload. Make sure you do press that get page and QR code to get your second code. Otherwise it will, um, you'll end up with all of the same QR codes. So as simple as that, that's how you link to a picture. Now, I can also link to a full document. If you don't have a Dropbox account or you don't have your document hosted somewhere, this is a really nice and easy way to have students get access to a lengthier document or um, a parent letter, anything that you want to send home or you want to have students do in the classroom but you ne don't necessarily want to copy. Um, enough for your whole class. So let's say I have a study guide. So we have a test on famous Americans on January 28, 2013. Use the study guide below to help you prepare. We also have a study session on January 
26. If you wish to attend, please use sign up genius to let me know you are coming. So I actually have a whole bunch of directions for them. This is serving as a reminder in a couple of different ways for the test that's coming up. It's going to provide the study guide for them and also um, I'm letting them know about a review session that we will be having. So I'm going to do it the exact same way, but I'm going to change this. I'm going to call this famous American study guide. So I'm going to browse. I actually don't have a famous American study guide, but I am going to check my desktop and see if I have something else in FETC that I can add for you. Oops, this is looking at only my pictures. So here we go. I am going to pretend that our landmark activity is your study guide. Upload that, get page. So here is the next QR code. I'm going to come over to my document and paste it in there. So I'm just double clicking it to get that ribbon to come up for my picture formatting and putting it in front of text. And then that's going to let me resize it and move it around without any formatting issues. So those are the two QR codes that I created. You can check out. Um, when you scan them, you will want to press the green words for the picture or the document to come up. So like I said, this is only one QR code generator. There are literally thousands of them out there. You can explore on your own and find them. Many of them are free, but this is just another one that is easy to use and you don't have to worry about hosting your images or your um, files anywhere. They're actually able to be attached right to the QR code. So I hope you found this helpful. And again, thank you for attending FETC. If you have, and our session, if you have any other questions, um, please connect with us on Edmodo. Email us. We are happy to share resources and ideas with you.